Welcome back to Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. Again, my name is Barry Waddell, and I'm going to be giving you a look at the 3585 Bighorn. They made some nice changes for the fall edition 2014 models. As you can see, they changed the front end from a brown to a gray, redesigned the Bighorn logo on the front to kind of a skull looking ram, if you will, went to a frameless exterior window. Some other changes they made to the inside, and we'll get into those in just a moment. Now this unit we ordered with six point auto leveling. The pass-through storage on these trailers are just immense. They do a double step frame on these things. You can see the frame down here as compared to the standard Heartland. And in doing that, you end up with about 10 inches of depth added to the pass-through storage. And the other thing with the pass-through storage is the attention to detail. Carpeted sidewall and completely finished top with no plumbing exposed there. Now even the competition, when you're spending $100,000 on a trailer, You'll see raw, raw wood, exposed studs, that sort of thing. They really do a great job at the factory on these units. This is the control for the six point auto leveling. When you're ready to use this, at a tap of a button, in as little as 10 seconds, you're level. On the side of the slide, they still went to the frame windows so it didn't interfere with the slide seal. Closer look at the frameless windows here. Now on the standard Bighorn product, the back end is one piece fiberglass, giving it a very high end look. You'll see these units priced from eighty to a hundred thousand dollars at other dealers. We uh, we tend to amaze with our prices here. We like dealing with people. We like selling a volume of these things. So please do not hesitate to call. We'll amaze. Now I point this out in all of my videos, but here you have a bulb seal. You've got the flashing seal. On the inside, you have another flashing seal. When the slides are closed, you have 400 pounds of static pressure, keeping dust, water, and of course, my arch enemy, the spiders, out of these coaches. On the underside of the slides, laminated floor system. These things are waterproof, competition, still wrapping their coaches with a Darko product, which is nothing more than fabric over the top of raw wood. Um, you can soak wa water in there without a problem. This coach was ordered with a power cord reel. Now, fairly self-explanatory. This little button over here, you push it, and that reels your cord in. I have this thing plugged into power, so that's all you get to see right now. Now these slides, there's two slides that are hydraulic on this unit. Any large slide run on hydraulics. The smaller slide up here is a cable driven slide. And on the cable driven slide, you'll see that there are roller assists under here. So the slide doesn't have to work hard to open and close. Still the same great slide seals. Dual 30 pound propane tanks, one on either side. The six point leveling on these things, when these are down it's like a foundation platform on a house. You walk inside and there's just no flex to them. A very stable platform. 
This is the off door side access into the pass through storage. Universal docking station. This access here, you could take this cover off, run your hose up in here, hook it into your city water connect. That way you could close this door. It's sealed off. That way this heated space in here, you can have everything protected from the elements. And uh, don't have to worry about freezing any of your stuff underneath there. Sorry for the noise, I slammed that door a little hard. Now let's take a look inside this coach. Now the gray front end on this thing just looks great. LED lights up top there. Before we go inside, I don't know if I pointed out, this unit, they have a 12 gallon quick recovery water heater on these things. Okay, now you're inside the 3585 RL Bighorn at Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. Again, my name is Barry Waddell. If you come up with any questions when we're showing you these videos, please feel free to give me a call at 1-800-822-1114. As you can see, this unit is equipped with a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Now the solid surface countertop in a Bighorn Standard Edition, they cover the top of the stove. And they key them in so they don't fall off during travel. Stainless steel sink. Now the solid surface countertop on these things, this is about 3 eighths of an inch thick. And that's triple thickness here. Over the top of 3 eighths plywood. So you're really, these edges, you don't have to worry about busting them off. Nice leather furniture. Recliners. The table setup is for two. There is a leaf in here with two folding chairs in the closet. So you can expand that to four place. And I'll show you that in a minute. The blinds in this unit, they went from a pleated blind to an MCD roller shade. Now the MCD roller shades are an American made shade company. As you can see, they are a day and night shade. And we got the little Made in America MCD there. The other thing nice about a Bighorn, LED lighting. And I have the shades pulled around this coach just so it doesn't mess with the camera. All right. This here is a little pull-out computer desk. And as you step into the kitchen, I have at the time, there are 12 drawers, counting this guy, open. This is underneath the appliance garage here. These things are very deep. They full extend roller bearing glides rated to 50 pounds per drawer. As you see as I go on, So cookie sheets, pans, skillets, storage for absolutely everything. And this little baby here looks like a cell phone. This controls your slides, your awnings, your lights inside. So you got a control for just about everything. Now on the other side, there are four drawers here that I don't have open because of course they conflict with those. Let's look at some drawers, or pardon me, doors. All right, starting in the hallway, right next to the bedroom across from the bathroom, there are 26 cabinet doors in this coach. Again, storage is 
no problem in this unit. Some of them are pretty tall. These are the only ones that you have to be, well, tall to access. Somewhat of an entry closet here. Now this is your control switch. This little mystery switch over here, people always have questions about. I'll show you what that is in just a minute. All right, mystery switch here is underneath the awning. This puts on a great light display at night. You have little LED track in here. Also worth mentioning, little porch light is a motion sensor. And there are security lights all around this thing. You'll see on the front end. This grill up here, that is the return air. Now on most other coaches, when you walk into the unit, you're going to find a return air close to the ground. Now, in a functionality sense, heat rises. So when heat gets to the roof, heater kicks on, it's going to pull preheated air into this grill. Other coaches, work, they work a little harder because they're going to pull a little cooler air in because they're at the ground. The other thing they do when they're at the ground level, sometimes you'll see if they have a heat grill next to a return, they do what's called short cycling. That heat will blow out of there, and if you see a return grill next to it, it just blows from there right into the return grill, cutting the efficiency of the heater down quite a bit. Most of the big horns out there, in fact all of them I've seen, I'm not going to say all because uh, I haven't seen every floor plan yet, but the ones that we've had here, all the return air is up top. The other advantage this has are the heaters themselves are located about 10 feet away from the return air. A lot of times all the noise that you hear when the heater kicks on is because the return is right at the heater itself. So it fires up and all you hear is that flame going so it sounds like a jet engine taking off. Um, so. Advantage Bighorn again. All right, this is a bird's eye view with a 3585 here. From atop the steps. Really does have a great residential feel. One of the other changes they made for the fall of 2013, this is real wood. Now when they went to the real wood, they did away with the central vac. Um, Reason being is the central vac had a hose. It was wound with wire. Now when you pull the hose around real wood corners in this real wood trim, it acted as sandpaper. So they did away with that. It went to a handheld Dyson. Um, functions great, very lightweight. You don't have to roll out the hose, roll that back up. So a very nice thing. Now another thing about Bighorn, there are some people out there starting to laminate their roof. Uh, very few products out there laminate the roof. Now what a laminated roof is, is... Now I'm not poking that. Um, uh, Sundance XLT is another Heartland product that laminate their roof. Uh, very nice insulation method. Um, makes it quieter for the inside, you know, outside noise getting in. Air conditioning running makes it quieter because the duct is channeled through the polystyrene insulation. And you can see there just how thick that polystyrene insulation is. So again, heats and cools much easier. We're going to take a look into the bedroom now. The king size bed. A four drawer dresser with a two door armoire. Now the other thing nice about Heartland products is the hidden hinges. Um, believe it or not, some of the high dollar units, most of the high dollar units, are still using hinges where they screw them right into the face frame. Now my background came out of construction, and uh, thanks to the downturn, I now sell trailers. So I know that in a high-end cabinet, you would never ever want face screwed hinges. Um, just a nightmare, you know, so these are a multi-adjustable hidden hinge. Very good construction method. The other thing is the roller bearing 
glide drawers. Wood constructed drawer, full extend roller bearing glide. Um, so again, very nice build. Now the reason this is pleated is because behind it you can have the washer and dryer in here and a place for that excess heat to escape. Great closet layout. A little spot here for charging your cell phone. Inside the closet, four drawers. Here is a look at your Dyson. A little plug in there for charging it. Shoe rack. Hanging over here for your long stuff. Plug in there. So you can't actually use that for your cell phone. Be in this door here. You got your programmable safe. MCD roller shades again. Dual entry into the bathroom. Makes it kind of nice. So you don't have to walk through the hallway. I'll leave it at that. Foot flush porcelain toilet. Nice storage. I'll spare you any reflections. The boss said I have a face for internet sales. Fiberglass one piece shower surround. Now advantage from plastic is fiberglass you do not have to worry about in cold weather. If I did that today, we sat right outside about uh, 18 degrees. Inside here we're maybe 25. If I did that with plastic, I'd have pieces all over the place. Okay. Once again, my name is Barry Waddell, and you just took a quick tour of the 3585 Rear Living Bighorn at Rocky Mountain RV. I appreciate you taking the time, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 1-800-822-1114, or go to the website at www.rockymtnrv.com. Thank you, and have a nice day.